Wisconsin weather for 20 years. Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. After a taste of fall yesterday, summer returned today. Temperatures for most of northeast Wisconsin were in the lower to mid 80s. We can expect more of the same tomorrow. We'll start to cool back down on Sunday. We will really cool down again on Monday with yet another taste of fall moving through. After that, a slow warm up on Tuesday and Wednesday, and then summer like conditions return as we head towards next weekend. So after yesterday's highs only in the 60s, the temperature took off today. This afternoon, most spots running 15 to 20 degrees warmer. So if you had 15 to 20 degrees on temperatures in the 60s, you're looking at highs mainly in the 80s. And right now, we still have a lot of 80s out there. It is 82 degrees in Wapaka. We've got 81 in Shano. It is currently 80 degrees in Watoma. In Appleton, it is mostly sunny and 81 with a southwest wind at around 10 to 20 miles per hour. In Green Bay, the temperature is 70. We have some high clouds moving through and also a lot of smoke in the air, so the temperature is a little bit cooler. South winds are right around 10 to 15 miles per hour. NBC 26 Precision Radar shows dry conditions across the viewing area, but there is a small area of showers and sprinkles that are kind of falling apart here across central Wisconsin. That's actually associated with a weak warm front that's kind of making its way through the state this evening. High pressure is still our main weather maker, and that's why we did have a lot of sunshine today and a southerly wind on the back side of it. And for that reason, temperatures warmed up pretty nicely. Highs across the upper Midwest today, much warmer than what we saw the last couple of days when most spots were only in the 50s and 60s. Today we had 70s, 80s, and even some 90s. And that heat will continue to build as we head into tomorrow. We're going to be running probably about 2 to 3 degrees warmer than what we saw this afternoon. And that means highs will be in the lower to mid 80s. Precision cast shows high clouds mixing with stars throughout the night. Tomorrow morning, lots of sunshine. We will see a mostly sunny day across the state of Wisconsin. But by by the time we get to tomorrow night, we're going to be watching a cold front move through and that cold front will kick off some showers and thunderstorms across the area. Those could linger into Sunday morning. Then we'll see a little bit of a break in the action during the afternoon and then more clouds will roll in Sunday evening with the chance for a couple more showers and that'll continue into Monday with much cooler weather. So tonight patchy clouds look for lows in the lower to mid 60s. Yesterday's highs were in the lower to mid 60s. Tomorrow, mostly sunny and windy. Look for a high right around 84 degrees. That is above normal for this time of year. Pretty close to normal on Sunday. Highs will be in the 70s. We'll have a chance for some showers and thunderstorms, especially early. On Monday, plenty of clouds, windy and cool, lower to mid 60s. We'll see a few showers out there. Tuesday morning, some sunshine. Then the clouds kind of bubble up during the afternoon, giving us mostly cloudy skies. Lots of sunshine on Wednesday. And then the heat builds back in for next Thursday and Friday and beyond right into next weekend. Looks like highs will be in the lower to mid 80s. But after that, signs are indicating that yet another shot of fall could be moving in. And you know, about that time, it's almost September. So that's what you start to think about as you move into September. So right. there is a look at your last uh, 10 days of August. At least it will be warm for now. And I can expect fall when it's meant to be fall. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully that's the way things work out. Yeah, tomorrow's looking fantastic, though. So enjoy it. Yes. And then stay with us. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are now to a jaw-dropping move. In